welcome to Smash Writing. Paul, Justin, today we are reviewing Uncle Buck. I should say it like that. Uncle Buck. <laughs> They're saying I like John Candy. I, I don't know if I like all of his films, though. And, um, this one was actually going back and forth with how I felt about it. Well, let's um, talk about it, shall we? Yeah, well, get to the plot. Real fast plots. This is Justin's story. Uh, yeah, pretty much. This is what's <laughs> going to happen in a few years when you have to go away. John's going to go watch the dead. <laughs> but uh, Uncle Buck tells the story of a family. Her um, wife's father is sick or dying. Did he die? He, he died. He died. So him and uh, his wife got to go away, but they are sh having trouble finding someone to come watch their three kids. And they eventually have to settle with his brother, Buck. Uh, he's kind of a social late loser kind of deal. He makes his living mostly off of horse racing and little jobs. Even his girlfriend is like, tired of him. She's like, you need to get a steady job. And she gets him into a real nice place. All he has to do is show up at the interview tomorrow. But he can't. He has to go watch these, his nieces and nephews. <laughs> then he gets there. The first thing that happens is he goes to the wrong house. Just beat on the door. He's like, "You called me. What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> but he starts taking over, and this family consists of um, three kids. You got a little boy, a little girl, and a teenage girl. You know what? That teenage girl's already well into puberty, well angsty, jaded teen. She was like seventeen. Like she could have easily just watched the kids herself. Could have been sixteen. And still. But no. Well, I wouldn't have left her in charge of my children. Would you have left her in charge of the children? How jaded she was at the beginning of this movie. But wasn't her biggest argument was that she could have watched them? I don't remember she made that argument. I thought she did. But anyway, Buck, <laughs> Buck's in charge of this house. Immediately, first thing he does, he breaks an unbreakable. <laughs> so, uh, you find out that the two little ones are real smart mouth kids. Yes, they are. I love the first interaction is when he starts asking this question after question. He's like, well, how, and Buck responds, how many questions, uh, how many consecutive questions have you asked in a row? It's like, 87. <laughs> 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 but a, as it goes on, it's like the parents have to stay a little longer, so he holds the birthday party for uh, the kid being played by Macaulay Culkin, does pancakes and bacon, like that is, that's a great scene. This is why you won't be able to flipping pancakes with a shovel. <laughs> and this is why you'll... You will not be babysitting my daughter. <laughs> I will. You will. I have the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much irony <laughs> in that. It's just not funny. <laughs> but uh, the entire time, though, it's building a lot of tension. As, as much as the little ones like him, the uh, older team does not, because he keeps interfering with her relationship with <coughs> this guy. And it comes down to the one point as it goes through, you know. It's a comedy movie, you're going to have that big dire moment before the lift up moment. And the big dire moment is when she kind of sets it up to make it look like he's cheating on his girlfriend with a nosy neighbor. And then she runs off to go to a party and he's going to take the kids to a track because he has to make this bet or else he's going to be out all this money. But he makes the right decision in the end. He takes them back home and he goes to find the older sister. And uh, they did a really good job making you think like the boyfriend is coming on real strong on her. You know, that scene with the power drill, where the power drills into the room, freaks him out, and then you see it's not her. She left, and he left her pretty much because she wouldn't put out for him. Okay. And then you see the boyfriend in the trunk of the car he has tied up because he kidnapped him. <laughs> and, it, and you get the um, scene where she makes up with her mother for all the trouble she'd been causing her. Real touching ending. Okay. I love this movie. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I thought... I thought Jan John Candy was the, uh, funny enough to play this role. Um, I just love Buck. Just... Because uh, just Buck is like your story. Larger than life guy. He goes in to like when uh, the little girl's being... He has to go in because uh, the principal wants to... Uh, uh, meeting with the parent or guardian in this case and he's, she's like, like freaking out because the little girl doesn't pay attention and she's always got her heads in the clouds and 
he goes off on her for daring to talk down on the niece. And he throws a quarter at her and he's like, go, eat, go have a rat eat that off your face. <laughs> because she's got like this big mole. <laughs> and he, the big thing you're saying because of me, because he goes in and he goes into the skull. He's smoking a, c- a little cigar. Which would be you. That's You're not allowed within like, what, 50 <laughs> yards of a skull. <laughs> but, uh, I did like this movie. I thought it was a good, uh, story, a good coming of it, it's a coming of age for Buck kind of deal to realize he has to get his stuff together and be present and be an adult sometimes. I, like, see, I appreciate John Candy. I appreciate, you know, the two younger kids. I just think, like, a lot of the jokes around them kind of falls flat. Like, their interaction, their chemistry was good and it made it enjoyable. Yeah, the questions and all these other you know, scenes, but, you know, you still have a 90-minute movie. And just for me... It oh, you had that scene where uh, he first meets the boyfriend, and he tells him the story of burying the hatchet, he's like, I think I have one in the car. <laughs> and you see him walking away toward the car, and the girl's like, don't worry, he's just bluffing, and you look over, and he's got the hatchet out, and he's waving it over at them. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it, John, John Candy was funny. Um, the kids was funny. I just think everything else... You know, when you're making a, a comedy movie, 90 minute movie, you do gotta do a lot more. I'm not saying this was a bad film. I'm just not saying it was a good film. And like in my eyes, can I watch it again? Sure. Um, what's your rate? Is that a hey, plus. I love this movie. It's, yeah, it's because you picked it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you picked the Requiem. Oh, oh here buddy. we go. <laughs> God, that was literally now, like, it might have been only, like, two months ago, but we recorded that episode, like, six months ago. I'm going to hang that over your head till we die. <laughs> to maybe watch that movie. And there's more to come. I'm bringing you uh, the hatchet-wielding Uncle Buck. <laughs> uh, I'm giving it a C. I thought it was a, a average movie overall. I There were scenes that, of course, made you laugh. You, you do have you know, the, the smart a- the smart mouth kids. You do have John Candy, Uncle Buck. Um, you do have that, yes. But uh, if it was this way, you know my view on comedy. It's not very high. In fact, this is like... Number two. Th- this just tells you how much I like comedy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Uncle Buck. Yeah, you, you, you're giving it high praise. I, I, I totally get that. I'm still giving it a C, somewhere in like the, the mid-75 range. Uh, could it be better... I, I don't think it could be bad. I think its peak for me would be a C plus. I don't think there's anything I could make it. The, the story, yeah, I get the story. It's the uncle coming the age. The you know the was he the younger brother or the older brother? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I believe he was the younger brother trying you know to. Yeah, you know, fish out of water kind of deal. Yeah, yeah, this guy goes up in a little hotel in Chicago, a little apartment in Chicago, going to this suburban area. Real yeah. fancy, real rich area. So, um, it, you know, seeing you know somebody from one scene go to a whole different scenery was fun. Um, but for me, where it's at is where it's at. I don't think you could have made it better. It's it, it's a good uh, average movie too. Um, well, I loved it when the little kids first meet him. They're looking at him like, "Do we have an uncle?" <laughs> yeah, like a, a long, long lost uncle. Yeah, that's probably what my kids are going. My kids' reaction are going to be, but. Thank God for Justin. <laughs> oh, God. But that is our review of Uncle Buck. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.